We're going to build the level crossing just like this prototype. The prototype I go across quite often and I really like it. We are going to build a level crossing with the flashing lights, gates, servo controlled, and they'll operate slowly. So this is a schematic of essentially what we're going to do. We'll start with the wiring, then we'll move on to making the actual gates and the flashing lights. So let's get down to doing the wiring, show you how it works. All right, let's look at what we have here. Now I have mocked up a couple crossing lights. I just make these for mock-up so they're easy to see and it makes the circuit more understandable. And I mocked up a couple crossing gates. Now this would be for a single gate on either side uh, or double gates on one, one, one side, okay? But uh, I have another sketch and I'll be putting up that will have crossing lights on either side and two gates on either side. Now, what's going to happen here is I have two sensors. One sensor over here and one sensor over here. And when a train comes through, it blocks the sensor and notice the lights start flashing and the gates go down. Now, again, these gates are just some wood that I slopped some paint on so you can see them in the video and it makes sense. And what we have is the flashing lights. Now the train will go through the section uh, across the thing and will pass this sensor and the gates will go up and then the lights will go out. It's that simple. Now it will sit and reset. The train can come back the other way and come through, or another train can come this way and that way through. The wiring is very simple. The sketch and information about this is below the video. I also will have the actual uh, crossing gates as I make them and the lights with the plans etc uh, linked through that video. Uh, this I'm going to use this is an Arduino Uno. I'm going to use this one with uh, two sets of gates and lights uh, on my own layout. I'll show you what that looks like when it's finished, but you can play with this on your own for now, and you can make it. Many people are very happy uh, with this particular sketch as it is. They don't get as excited and crazy as I do in making these things so big. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Notice how nice that is. I'm going to come in a little closer and show you how easy that wiring is to set up. But like I say, again, look down below. We have complete information. You can't get everything off the video. All you can do is get the concept. You need the wiring diagram, an intelligible one, which I try to put up, and some pictures. Okay, now, we have an Uno. In this case, I'm powering this directly from the UNO power over to the sensor as well as the servos. When I move to four servos, uh, I'll probably put them on another board, a PCA uh, 9685. But again, we'll cross that bridge. When the time comes, in any case, we're powering directly from the board. We don't have power to worry about uh, overpowering the board. 
because we're not drawing that much. So we have two sensors. I'll have a video that shows how to install these sensors, various ways you can put them in your track. Then we have, and let me disconnect them just so things start getting a little easier to watch. One control wire and two power wires. You can power them off an external power supply. I, from, to me, I make it easy right now just using this. Servos, same way. There's two connections to the Uno and connection over here to the uh, plus minus side of the board. Now for the lights, I use the lights. I'll make a picture, show a picture of the way I hook the lights up. There are, you notice there's no connection to negative or positive here. I connect the lights here, uh, cathode to anode, and put a resistor. So there's a resistor. Uh, let me bring this in a little closer here. There's a resistor here and a resistor here. And these lights are cathode to anode. And, and I'll slip that picture of cathode to anode in this video right about now. So you see how it's hooked up. So the connection is very simple. It makes easy wiring on your layout because you eliminate that negative lead which is out there. These are Christmas light LEDs that I cut out and connected them cathode to anode. You can also do this with pre-wired LEDs, be they SMD or rice or wheat size uh, bulbs. So I hope this has helped. You can see my crazy little crossing gates. So just a piece of couple of couple of pieces of wood I slapped some paint and pigment on just to make them uh, so you could see it. And stuck them to the servo with some double-sided tape and the lights themselves just for, to mock up nothing but a couple of pieces of card. Christmas light LEDs. Uh, I covered them with plain pigment. Uh, I'll dress them up again. I just put them like this it makes it easy for the demo. So let's review what we're going to do. We'll make the crossing gates themselves, the optional flashing lights on the crossing gates. They'll flash along with the uh, regular warning lights that will be on the side. We'll uh, make them move using servos. This is one way to mount the servos. There's other ways. I'll show you that also. So have a good day. Do please subscribe. I'd appreciate it very much if you subscribe. It really helps me. And watch some of these other videos. Be sure to look at the information below. Have a nice day. Take care and have a good life.